Okay, guys, my head hurts, my throat really hurts, and let's just get this story done. Okay. The Mask, Part 4, Done, by Daredevil188. Disclaimer, if, so you aren't confused, Part 4 is in Masky or Tim's point of view. Okay, I'll shut up and tell you the story now. Hope you enjoy. That's actually what I wrote. <laughs> I can't. She didn't do anything. Hoodie, if she did something, tell me what it is. Hoodie was silent. He looked away from me. All I wanted to know was what she did. Sky was the kindest girl I knew, and I didn't want to kill her. Sky was unconscious. I'm the one who knocked her out. It hurt me more as much as it hurt her. Hoodie didn't care much. He wasn't really friends with her. But but I was but I was, and I didn't want to hurt her. Hoodie still hasn't answered me, so I said it again, but louder. What did she do, Hoodie? Everything he snapped back. He spun around like a top fast but smooth. That one word hurt. It felt like Hoodie just stabbed me and left me there to die. I felt myself tear up under my mask. I couldn't help it. I replied, trying to hold back my tears. I won't do it. Hoodie just stared. His break expression told me that he was baffled, confused at what I said. What do you mean you're- I'm not going to kill her! I cut him off. I didn't want to discuss it anymore. Then Sky woke up. I ran to get her out of the ropes. Hoodie ran over. I heard him and turned around. You can't stop me. I don't care what the boss does to me. I won't let my friend die. He replied, I don't care either. I'm helping. I smiled under my mask. We pulled Skylar onto her feet and ran. Tim, what's going on? She said. I hated when people said my name now, but she didn't. But Sky didn't know that, so I just left her alone. Then he came. I could feel him staring to the back of my head, except he had no eyes. Hoodie grabbed Sky and ran. I tried to keep up, but Hoodie was just too fast, so I let him take her. Then he grabbed the back of my jacket. He pulled me back and I screamed, but Hoodie and Sky were gone. They didn't see or hear me. He turned me around. I was horrified. He was he was going to hurt or kill me. At least Sky and Hoodie were safe. Then I did something I thought I'd never do. I kicked him in the chest and from pain he let me go and I ran off. The mask which would usually fall off didn't. Then I knew the mask made it what I want what it wanted me to be. Masky, the kid that disappeared. Okay, guys, well, uh, if you really liked that story, uh, it was really cool. So, yeah, if you did, uh, me and Masky actually worked on writing this. Uh, he, uh, was like, you know, I want to help you write it, and I'm also going to read it. So, yeah, I read the very, very, very beginning, and then Masky's like, bro, I'm going to help read, and I'm like, all right, fine, it's cool with me. Yeah. Oh, and if you guys want me to write a Jeff the Killer theme story, that'll be awesome. You can just tell me in the comments below, because, you know, I love writing stories for you guys, and I love reading stories, and I just love writing, and oh my god, it's so awesome. Hey guys, it's Masky! Oh yeah, and Masky Souls are here with me. So, uh, you guys enjoy our vid? Of course they enjoyed the vid, Masky. Well, I was just asking- just shut up, just shut up, okay? But it shh, just shh, no. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, why don't you tell us in the comments below? And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vid. Bye! Masky and Dare, over and out.